does this look familiar? May 16th, 2019. <clears throat> I remember that day all too well. I woke up around 6 o'clock that morning because you sent me a text, you know, whatever. You said you wanted me to give you a ride to this building right here, our old middle school. Me not thinking much, I agreed. So we talked at school, you know, normal stuff. We just talked about things. And I remember like right after the bell rang after last the last period, I had to run and go grab my yearbook because I had ordered it and it came. We met up at the band room and then we walked out the front of the school. Then we got into my mom's Chrysler Pacifica. Then we drove here. We arrived around 221. We came and we sat down right in front of the main office on this bench. And I sat right where I'm sitting now. You sat right here. And we, we just talked, and normal stuff. You asked me to help you with your geometry homework. And generally, like, if you do well with algebra, you do terribly with geometry. I mean, I kind of didn't do all that great with both because I took algebra in seventh grade and geometry in eighth grade, when normally you would take algebra one in ninth grade, geometry in 10th grade, you know, whatever. So I didn't remember much from geometry. So we actually had to go inside the building and try to find my geometry teacher, who was your algebra teacher, if I remember correctly. And we had to ask him how to solve the problem. The thing that really bugs me to this day about the whole thing, it's probably, Nah, I would say it's got to be the fact that that day, May 16th, 2019, I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that you were literally the most important thing in my life. I loved you more than anything. So we'll say that revelation came to me around... 235. I had no idea that exactly three days, two hours, and 46 minutes later, after winning the Money in the Bank contract on May 19th, 2019, that you would destroy me. Sure, you may have broke my heart, but you know, I survived. You've tried like a million times to do it again, but you know, I'm still standing. And I know you're taking that as the biggest fuck you in history. And you totally should. You tried to get me to commit suicide at least five times, you shallow cunt. But at WrestleMania, I will beat you. That's a fact. It's not because I'm going to take advantage of your insecurities or whatever. It's not because I'm going to break into your house, steal all your makeup palettes, and then send you a video of me running hot water over them, then tossing them into my bathtub. It's not because I know you're a cold, heartless, shallow piece of shit. It's because I'm better than you. I know it. You know it. Everyone knows it. That's why you... Well, you try, you try to blindside people whenever you can. You know that you can't compete with me physically or mentally, which is why you try to get someone where it hurts. And 
your way of doing that is basically just going and attacking the people that they love. I mean, you nearly broke out of your craft snack. And Radical Gaming Nerd's ribs. And Mason Joss's back. And Randall Ross's leg. And my heart. And I'm pretty sure if it weren't for the fact that you secretly have feelings for Innocent Armin, don't fucking lie, we all know that shit, you'd be chasing after her with a baseball bat in your hand. You know who I miss? Moist mayonnaise. All I would have to say is Bloodstone is going after Innocent Armin. And, of course, Moist mayonnaise. About five seconds later, Moist mayonnaise has already killed Bloodstone. I miss you, you crazy bastard. I've gone after you. I've gone after mutual friends like Aaron and Joey. Hmm. I should hit you where it hurts the absolute most. You went after my tag team partner, so I believe it's only fair that I go after your boyfriend now. I'm not afraid of you. And I know that you're afraid of me. You kind of tipped your hand with that one. So I will leave you with everything that you left me with. Everything that I had after that day, May 16th, 2019. I'm going to leave you with nothing. This isn't about taking back my title. This is about me getting retribution for everything you put me through. Are we clear? I think we're clear.